All right, so let's just take a look here. Uh, you're mostly asking about uh, handshakes and stuff. Let's take a look. Cool, I like it a lot. I think you can combine a couple of things. So let's see here. I think that all works great, right? And then I think when he goes leaving and he has that, that I will push and really uh, shoulders up, head down. Like uh, imagine like he squashes together just a little bit more. So it's not just, oops, not just in his eyes. Because he just heard that ginormous thing next to him. It's a bit of a bigger take and it's not just in his face. Uh, I like the eye darts. I'll be careful. Like his, his shoulders are huge. And, you know, as you continue on, you would also offset them. But right now, the weird thing is that that whole section, like the whole shoulder, takes the whole arm. So everything goes up and down, which feels a bit weird. I'm not sure... I know what that's supposed to be if that's breathing. And if it is breathing, I will concentrate it just in the chest and have your shoulders roll back a bit with a tiny bit of an up. That is fantastic. I love that shake. I will keep that shake here. And here, because you think, ah, ah, that's when I put more erratic hand movement. Less of a shake, but it's more like, you know, up and, and down and up. And like, it's I mean, not that wavy, but just less of a, of a continuous shake. Like the, like before, it feels like it's it's an additional animation layer where I just have constant shake, which is awesome here. Uh, I mean, here, right? But then I will put here a bit more erratic movement because it fits the voice more. And then here, because he can't say anything anymore. Right, and it's almost like he can't talk because he's thinking, he's nervous, he's panicked, and that's when I will put the shake back. Here it's a bit more tied to have to. It's very poppy here, this one. So I would just go starting here, have a little bit of a layer of just overall shake. And then here it's fine to not have it anymore because he kind of calms down. And then, I mean, no. What I would do here, you know, watch out eye lines. You want to really have the eyes. He doesn't have to look completely at him. It can be a bit more towards us so we see the eyes a bit more. It's as if he's staring. It's like, oh, everything is fine. And then you have that big take into that, you know, where... The head could be a bit more towards us and a bit lower. Eyes are staring just off to the left. Um, it's as if he's hypnotized. I'm like, oh, everything is going to be okay. And then take head turn into this pose. And then here, just be careful. Like right now, the root just kind of comes down and moves to the right. And here, just kind of floating left and right. Just make sure that the body mechanics here are as fleshed out as here. Like this feels a lot better. So I'm not sure if we just didn't get to this yet. Or, um, you know, if, I, if you need me to go into more detail uh, on that section. So right now, like, because right now when he says, I mean, no, no, like, he's still very, very panicked. But if you look at the root and you don't listen uh, to the audio, he just goes, so that's way too slow and smooth and completely contradicts the, the voice and the panic and the emotion in that. So that would be much, much more... You know, like, oh, here, no, and then, like, dip down, no, and then dip over. But he's also very off balance at this point. Like, that's this, that's your weight, you know. So he would have to be uh, either, like, ticked out that leg a bit more. So that, not that you would have to do a pose like that, but I'm just saying in terms of balance, that, <laughs> like, awesome drawing. That makes more sense balance-wise because of this being so far out. Or if you're doing this, um... You know, it could be something where you can keep this, but then this foot has to be further out so that that weight comes down and it's a bit more evenly distributed. 
you know, and that's all very translate-y, one axis, flat, horizontal movement there. Um, but yeah, I would definitely continue to flesh out, just, oh, flesh out the kit, concentrate on him first, or first, you know, just get that going. And then stuff like this, I would just be careful to not cross over shape-wise, because now I feel like it's a tangent and they're almost touching and keep it like here. There's always a bit of a gap, makes it a bit more menacing. You know, just right over him. Careful with on the ogre, but just look at his movement. That that little up and down is that drop is fast. It feels like he's being pulled down, and it's not physical weight by that. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, you know, it's a little rough and just get it more into like the level that you're at here, which is really cool. It's neat though. Like I really, really like this. I really like how towering it is. And maybe it could be a different silhouette on this hand. You know, I don't know if that works. You can have the thumb here and the fingers. A bit more of a shape like that. Not that my drawing helps, but you know, this is a bit too profile. And then that hand totally drifts. Down to this point here, um, hard to see. It's just something where, like, this is pretty flat towards us. So imagine turning it around a little bit. This is for this hand, right? So you don't want this hand to look like this, but it's kind of the same idea. It's not so profile. So the thumbs that are here, thumb could be here-ish, with fingers. You know, it's a bit, a bit wider. Alrighty, thank you. All right, there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.